This Mercedes C-Class Cabriolet targets open-topped versions of BMW's 4 Series and Audi's A5 more effectively than the three-pointed star has ever managed before. Elegant styling makes it stand out in the showroom, plus you get sophisticated convertible touches from some of Mercedes' more exotic drop-top models, along with class-leading sophistication when it comes to suspension and automatic transmission. Will it all be enough to enable this Cabriolet C-Class to gain the upper hand in this tightly contested and star-conscious segment? On the road, this C-Class Cabriolet comes with a multi-layered fabric roof that can activate in less than 20 seconds at speeds of up to around 30 miles an hour. Uh, once the hood is unclipped and on its way backwards, what Mercedes calls an air-capped draft stop system springs up on the windscreen header rail. At the same time, a wind deflector can glide up behind the rear seat and together these two elements are very effective in limiting cabin buffeting at speed. Add in the comfort of the air scarf neck level heating system and this becomes a very, very civilised means of al fresco travel. That roof mechanism, along with the body strengthening necessary to accommodate, does take its toll on the scales, of course. As a result, this model is 125 kilos heavier than the C-Class Coupe model it's based on. And that's extra bulk that you really feel when you're pushing on around twisting secondary roads. On the plus side, though, this Cabriolet is stable and very well balanced, uh, aided by a standard Dynamic Select driving mode system that not only tweaks the throttle and the steering, but also alters responses from the standard agility control adaptive suspension. Uniquely in this class, there's the option of upgrading the damping into a high-tech air-suspended airmatic setup. And on top of that, mainstream variants get a 9G Tronic 9-speed automatic gearbox that's more sophisticated than anything the opposition can offer. Under the bonnet, mainstream buyers get a choice of two engines. Most will choose the 2.1-litre diesel unit we're trying here, offered with 170 bhp in this C220D, or with 204 bhp in the Pokia C250D. Go for the C220D, and there's the option of 4MATIC four-wheel drive if you want it. And it's actually an all-wheel drive C220D automatic we're trying here. This variant's capable of 56.5 mpg on the combined cycle and up to 130 grams per kilometre of CO2. The main alternative to diesel power is offered by the 2-litre petrol engine that comes with 184 bhp in the entry-level C200 variant or with 245 bhp in the Pokia C300. should also tell you about the performance-orientated Mercedes-AMG petrol models at the very top of the lineup. There's the 367 bhp C43 formatic, or if that's not really fast enough, then the brand can supply the fearsomely fast C63 V8 flagship version, able to offer up to 510 bhp if you can handle it. A lot's been written about the way that this C-Class Cabriolet uh, offers nearly all the qualities of an exotic S-Class Cabriolet distilled into a more accessible form, which is pretty much how it turns out in the metal. There's certainly an elegance in the sweeping shape that's appropriate to a brand with such a distinguished Cabriolet back catalogue. With the roof upright like this, the luggage capacity is a relatively acceptable 355 litres. When the roof's stowed, though, uh, that figure falls to just 260 litres. Take your seat inside and this electrically extending belt buckler graciously delivers your restraint buckle. Uh, then there's the integral sport seats themselves, bespoke design for this model, and fitted out with air scarf neck level vents that you'll be glad of if you're tempted to go al fresco on a chilly day like this one. Otherwise, things will be pretty familiar to anyone fluent in modern Mercedes design language. Look around you and the two staples of the brand's currently favoured approach to cabin style are present and correct. So there are five round silver trimmed air vents and above the three in the centre sits a prominent iPad style infotainment screen. Uh, it's freestanding positioning smacking either of afterthought or inspired design, depending on your point of view. Uh, what else? Well, we really like the way that the climate control system adapts itself when the roof's down, blowing warmer air onto your hands and deactivating the air recirculation function. So, enough on the front. What about the rear? Well, you could call this an adult four-seater, but only just. Still, it's unlikely that any of that will prove to be a clinching issue for most buyers who tend to more usually use these pews for the carriage of jackets and designer shopping bags.
Mercedes has long offered executive buyers a cabriolet model, but never one as directly targeted at key competitors as this car is. In terms of price, performance and sheer pavement panache, it's a match for leading class contenders like Audi's A5 cabriolet and BMW's 4 Series convertible in all the ways that really matter. If, having considered these alternatives, you opt for a C-Class Cabriolet, it'll probably be because it offers an extra touch of class and exclusivity that those rivals just can't quite match. As long as you don't need a big, thirsty engine beneath the bonnet, or the other key attributes that a lottery winner would enjoy in an S-Class Cabriolet are here provided in a more accessible form. In short, it's just a bit special, just as a desirable Cabriolet should be.